First, you're going to want to take off your wheels and any other parts to get in the way. Also, I removed a chain holder here just to keep the chain from slapping around and getting in the way. Then you're going to want to take some of this 3M protective tape that I bought off Amazon for about 20 bucks and cut a few pieces. I like to use tape to hold it in place so I know that I'm getting about the right length. Then do that for the rest of the bike. The down tube, the top tube. I like to cut out little notches like this around difficult places where the film doesn't want to fold. Here I'm cutting out around the seat tube. I'm making a mark here just to know how far to cut. You have to get a little creative and kind of visualize in your head how it's going to fit around the frame. I always round off the corners for anywhere that's going to be exposed and not meet up with another edge. This prevents the tape from peeling up down the road. This isn't going to be perfect like some of the popular brands out there that you spend hundreds of dollars for, but it gets the job done. You'll need to be patient and probably cut things more than once. So don't ever remove too much of the protective film. Take a little away and then test it and repeat. Another tip for doing this is to lay the film down and trace out the shapes that you'll need to remove the material from. Then you can cut along that line and get a pretty good match. Again, it's not perfect, but it gets the job done. The film that I bought is three inches wide. You can buy it in different thicknesses and widths, depending on the amount of protection you want and how difficult it'll be to install. I found that three inches is about the easiest to work with. After you've got the bike ready, all the pieces cut, clean the bike off with some alcohol, and then prepare the film. Here I'm using a mixture of some water and about a drop or two of Dawn dish soap. This allows you to stick and unstick the film to make sure you get it in the right placement. It's also nice to be able to remove the film to make a trim here and there in difficult spots. Once you get one side of the film set, you can start unpeeling the backing from the rest. If you keep the frame wet and the film wet, it won't stick once it's touched. But if the dry film touches other dry film, you pretty much need to throw it away and start over. So here I'm peeling back a little, wetting it, and then peeling back more and wetting it. Now I've got the wet film and the wet frame. I can lay it down and move it around to adjust it into the right position. As you're laying the film down, start from the highest point. Here it's the center of the top tube. Press that into place first. I noticed that I didn't have it lined up correctly, so I'm able to remove it and line it up, stick it back on the frame. Here I'm using my fingers to guide the film to know that it's centered on the bike. I noticed I needed to make some adjustments and because the film's wet, I'm able to peel it back and trim around the seat post. This does require some patience. After you've got the film on, you can start to work out the water underneath. This will cause the film to stick to the frame. Once you've got the majority of the big air bubbles out, you can use a hair dryer to soften up the film to wrap around hard places. It also starts to dry out the water underneath and so the film starts to stick to the frame.
I'm using the same procedure here on the down tube where I'm starting at the highest point in the middle and lining it up as I go. The frame's already been wet, the film is wet. I can see that I'm gonna have a difficult spot around the head tube. I try to get the majority of the film in place before I work on that difficult spot. The best way to deal with these spots on the bike where the film won't lay flat is to use a blow dryer. If you heat up the film enough, it starts to stretch and you can actually wrap it around unique curves in the frame. We'll see here how well it turned out on this side. Now I've got to work on the other side. I could force it down, but it would create a wrinkle there. So I use heat to smooth it out. Now I've just got to get out the rest of the air bubbles. And it's looking pretty good. Here's where I finish the bike. This is the rear chain stay, the seat stays. You can see it's not perfect and it takes some pain, but you're also able to double up the tape there where the tire is going to constantly be flipping rocks as well as on the seat stay. Here's a difficult spot that I did the best I could. You can see there's a slight wrinkle, but this corner I was pretty proud of.